in normal situation, the body is made up of lots of different types of tissues such as bone, muscle, skin, uh, blood, etc. All these tissues are composed of tiny, tiny particles called cells. These grow and they also interact with each other within tissues and within organs in a very predictable way from a baby right out to adulthood and so this is a, a very predictable and structured and organized way of growth. Cancer is genetically abnormal cells growing in an unpredictable and haphazard manner. When you look at the cells, the cancer cells in detail, and you look at their DNA, that's the genetic code, you can see that there are abnormalities in that genetic code compared to normal tissue. They behave in an unpredictable way. They grow or typically arise from one part of the body and unless they're treated, they will ultimately spread beyond, initially within the organ that they are uh, starting from, so that it will affect the function of that organ and will damage it, and ultimately it will go beyond that organ to spread to other parts of the body. And it's really those cancers that grow and spread that we read about and we know about, because those are the cancers that tend to kill people. Testicular cancer is a type of uh, cancer where there is abnormal growth um, and that's in the form of a small lump and you can have benign growths and cancerous growths. The commonest type that we come into is cells from the body of the testis itself, those cells that have the ability to produce sperm. They will divide more rapidly than normal cells and they won't kill themselves, they'll continue to divide and as they divide eventually as there are enough of them they will form a mass of cells. And eventually, if they're big enough, you'll be able to feel that mass of cells. So it's a large number of highly concentrated cells growing in a rapid manner. Then it will eventually spread. So the cancerous nature of it is detected by its behavior. So it will not lie still. It won't just remain the same size or grow very slowly. It will ultimately go beyond the testicle and spread to other areas. Spreading via the lymphatic system or spreading by the bloodstream um, getting the ability to land in target zones, particularly lymph nodes and lungs, and then grow in a similar way as they were growing originally in these areas, these, these new areas, so new fertile grounds as it were. So there are many, many different types of testis cancer, but for all intents and purposes there are two that we refer to. Both are curable. The two that we refer to that affect young men are seminoma, that has a specific characteristic, it looks special under the microscope. And then there are five or six other cancers, and we group them together and call them non-seminomas. And the treatment pathways are very slightly different between the two. But for all intents and purposes, testis cancer, germ cell tumours of the testis, are treated in a pretty similar way with surgery and chemotherapy, and the outcome is excellent.